Okay. Fabulous. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Phil. <laughs> I'm delighted to say I'm with the fabulous Vicar Ball. How are you? I'm good, Phil. How are you? I'm really good. I'm excited because you're just about to do a showcase here for your tour, which starts tomorrow. Yes. Nervous? Excited? I'm excited. Yeah. Yep, excited. You've been doing it for a long time now, haven't you? Because it's have. been going for a few years. Is it six years now? 2000 and th February 2013 was our first show. Right. Yeah. So. Still going strong. Still going strong. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the gift that keeps on giving, Phil. Yeah, it it's is. Like, it's a wonderful thing. So. I, you know, people really like to hear Edda's story and hear her song, so I'm, and I'm happy to do it. So, I mean, it's very hard. Yeah. But I love it. The woman in red got hit. It's at last the Etta James story, yep. the story isn't it, from birth to death of, yes. of her life and what yes. what a crazy life that she had as well. She had a wild time. Lots of downs and ups. Yeah, lots of lows, lots of highs and that I think that's that's the good, that, that's why it's so interesting. People don't get bored because it's like, it's like, um, it's like, whoa, what, 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 yeah. what happened? And then, and then she picks herself up. Yeah. And it's like, incredible, you know? I think that's great because you cover everything. Because you've yeah. got to have the grit as well as the, the brightness. I think so. I think everyone has to know, we don't want to go, we don't want to get too bleak. I mean, she, she really hit rock bottom. Yeah. And we touch upon that. I think people should know what made her a great singer. You know, she had a, like I heard her say, she had a roller coaster of a life and she wouldn't change a thing. Because that, you know, life experience makes you a fantastic singer, a fantastic storyteller, I think. So what does that feel like? Because obviously, because you're touching on the addiction problems that she had and you're going through all those emotions and it's a real mixture of emotions. Do you, do you feel quite drained after performing? Because you're not only performing the songs, you are performing the character, aren't you? So well, yeah, I, yeah, I'm a bit tired after the show, yeah. I've got to say. It's like, it's very, yeah, I'm exhausted, Phil. You know, it's, it's a challenge though, isn't it? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's because she had a long career. Um, uh, she started, got had her first hit when she was 15 and and sang right up until just before she passed away and so you know she covered a lot of styles so we do that in the show you know there's R&B, there's rock and roll, there's jazz that's hard, it's a hard job because that's but, another challenge isn't it because you're yeah. doing all the different styles of music, the genres especially the jazz part for me yeah, oh really? yeah it's hard you know so I'm not really a jazz singer I'm more of rock and roll, blues sort of soul singer and I, I really enjoyed taking on that challenge it's like and I it actually Fool That I Am is probably now one of my favourite songs and then other songs she does covers of other people's songs which yeah. she does, makes her own she makes a, like she does a fantastic cover of Take It To The Limit by The Eagles and that's in the show I never knew that yeah because yeah. my, my personal favourite is I'd Rather Go Blind. I right, think yeah. that's a favourite of yours as well. It's one it? of my favourites. It's heartbreaking song. It's heartbreaking. Yeah. What a rotten thing to have happen, you know? What's your, your, the love of your life, you know? Go off with someone else. No. It's terrible. Yeah. Because I remember the cover from Ruby Turner back in the 80s. Mm. And it's been covered again more recently because that's how influential she is as an artist because Dua Lipa covered it last year and she's going strong now. She's got so many fans now. Oh, well, that's fantastic. So her music does carry forward, doesn't it? It's yeah. still contemporary now. It is. It doesn't date. No. Not at all. My name's Vika. This is my friend Dion on guitar. We're just going to play you a few songs. We're touring this show, The Edda James Story. It's called At Last. We're going all over the UK starting tomorrow. So we won't uh, keep you for too long. We just want to play you three more songs. So cheers, everyone. Enjoy your drinks.
Yeah, and, that, and that, that's the good thing. I think that's why people like it too. Uh, because she sings so honestly, I think that's the thing, and then and that's why it doesn't sound dated. People don't tire of it because it's very honest, you know. And she just sort of just, it's just sort of, it's like looking you straight in the eye. Absolutely, and it resonates yeah. with people, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, what is your favourite song, and what's your hardest song to sing as part of this show? My favourite song to sing is "Tough Lover." The hardest song to sing is probably. At last, only because everyone's waiting for that one. Right. So you've got to make sure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it's the last song of the show, you know, so I've got to make sure there's enough gas in the tank that I can, I can do that song. So probably that one. Yeah, because you've got to have that energy, haven't you, to, to pull it off every night. And yeah. this tour, it's, it's a long tour. It's a long tour, yeah. yeah, but hopefully it'll be all right. Shows how good yeah. you are, though, doesn't it? Well, you know, you, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my big mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Billy Joel, how fantastic to support him on tour. And also play with Iggy Pop too, because you recorded a song with him. We came out, did Reading. We did Reading a long time ago. Yeah. And met Iggy Pop and sang a song with him. We, we asked him to come into the studio and sing a song, and he did, but we never released it or anything like that. That was good fun working, like singing with him, just getting having the experience of singing with Iggy Pop, because he said, I only do three takes, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's right. all he did. It was fantastic. He only needed to do one, really. I found a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I Supporting Billy Joel, that was that that was that was great fun. Just watching him work and sing, you know, amazing. Here we go. The music is really now <laughs> loud now. Sorry. Um, watch, I'll watching show him. This. Oh, um, <laughs> watching him perform and just beautiful songs, beautiful voice, you know, like just amazing. And 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 doing supporting someone like that's quite intimidating as well. Phil is like. You know, you just, you just feel like, you just, I've got to say, I don't enjoy it. Right. What, because you're comparing yourself to other artists or...? Well, with being a support act, like, oh, right. yeah, I don't really enjoy being uh, really opening because everyone really just wants to see the main band. They couldn't right. give a shit about... They go to the they bar. Like, they go to the bar, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you know, why am I here? But, and, it's, and, and it is intimidating because you're on a big stage, you're in stadiums, you know, and it's like... Whoa, and everything's so loud, but it's a really good experience. I cannot wait to see this showcase. 
which is literally minutes away because you've got to perform what in 20 minutes or so uh, something like that I you th really want to see it do you yeah i can't wait okay. and i can't wait to see the show we're going to see you in london oh good you're coming to kedagan yeah, Kedag yeah. Kedag and, Hull. Um, yeah. and i mean it is a really long tour across the uk you're playing mm. everywhere pretty much aren't I you? every so. every corner of the uk yeah which i'm looking forward to yeah um so we're just today it's just like acoustic guitar and voice it's just very so stupid it. back do you yeah Close and personal, isn't it? Up close and, up close and yeah, yeah, a bit too up close for my <laughs> <Too> liking. <personal. laughs> Keep your distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely to talk to you, oh, Neil. I wish you all the best of the tour. Thank Can't you so much. You.